garbage laying around everywhere, abandoned automobiles all over the place. People gutting houses, mold dust and pollution makes it hard to breathe in. The Musicians Clinic, in my opinion, is uh, one of the greatest things that God ever created. Uh, Johan and Bethany Boltman are the ones that got the Musicians Clinic started. They're the founders, the originators of it. It took many people to actually put this together. And it was unique because there's nothing like it still in the United States. And we started it in 1998. And our goal was to create comprehensive health care to keep our world famous musicians both alive and flourishing in New Orleans, where health care was very third world. Oh, I can't begin to say enough about the Musicians Clinic. It has just helped so many members of the indigenous culture. I can go on and on about all the people that has touched their lives personally that I know of. For instance, my own brother Charles Moe plays bass in the band with me. He had a heart attack on stage at the jazz festival a few years ago. And if it were not for the Musicians Clinic and the uh, assistance that they provided from with his medical bills, his doctors, and the ambulance service that saved his life, uh, he might not be alive today. A lot of our musicians fall between a rock and a hard place. They're too young for Medicare and Social Security. They're not totally disabled and they can't afford private health insurance. So many of them, uh, they work, you know, from job to job and they don't have very secure jobs. So uh, consequently, their health care needs are not being addressed. There's no retirement plan for musicians. There is no anything for musicians that comes with any other form of work. And we work hard. Each part of our culture that we lose is devastating to other parts of our community. Our music is like no other music on the face of the earth. We have a unique musical culture, and guess what? The people who are the standard bearers of our culture, primarily the elder musicians and the uh, artists and people that make up the components of our culture, they need to teach this culture to the young people, the youth culture coming up. And how can they be able to teach these musicians and artists that are coming up? They need to be able to live longer and enjoy a more productive life through health care. And if this health care is not affordable to them, we're going to see the demise of our culture. The best thing we can do is turn other people onto the oldest musicians clinic. There's been no other clinic like this, much less has there ever been a clinic that had so much sincere care for people. There's testimony from hundreds of musicians and artists that the New Orleans Musicians Clinic have helped. They've kept them alive. They've uh, had initiated programs to create jobs for them, to help them support their families, to help them promote, preserve, and teach the unique culture that New Orleans has of its own that we love so dearly. Thank you for your time, and please, please, please do something to help my brothers and sisters in music in this community. Do something that's going to help New Orleans, that's going to help the entire country. It's about caring for people. It's a simple thing when you break it down. And the sincerest form of being real is to be there for people. We are going to support something that is real.
This is for my artists of virtuosity who kept the music in the mystery. It's for my artistic vanguard who came back when times were hard, who sometimes came back to nothing but still came back underrated and uninsured, putting their horns where their mouth is. This is for my buck jumping pied pipers who gon' second line my people all the way back home. This bone's for you. This is for my melody makers, for my cowbell ringers and my tambourine shakers. This is for the lady buck jumpers, for the rebirth brass band and the storyville stumpers, for the soul rebels and the hot eight, for the little rascals wanting to dine when all they got is eight. It's for Kermit Ruffin and the barbecue swingers, for Marva Wright and all my blues singers, for making that music that heal our pain. It's for Shannon Powell and Lil Liza Jane. I got Liza, you got Liza, we got Liza. I'm from the Noya and I thought I told you It's for the Golden Comanches and the Wild Magnolia For loving our city, we ain't giving up an inch It's for Stanton, Moore, Bob, and George French We love her scat and we love her razzle-dazzle It's for Irvin Mayfield and Jermaine Basil It's for Dr. Michael White for keeping it tight And for Oprah Lionel, still raising hell We show don't miss him when we die It's for Troy Sawyer and Kevin O'Day Kid Chocolate Brown and John Boutte For Dave Talkanowski and Walter Wolfman Trombone Shorty and the whole Andrews clan and the Marcellus clan and the Baptiste clan too. Shermay Neville, this poem's for you. And don't forget Kid Jordan and the whole Jordan crew. It's for Philip Manuel and Leah Chase. Earl and Riley on drums, Roland Garrett on bass. Holla if you hear me. It's for Corey Henry on trombone, Kirk Joseph on sousaphone, Donald Harrison on sax. I take off my hat to Benny Jones and Leroy Jones and all our musicians who came back home. This poem's for you. We'll work today if you play tonight. Sing us a song that make us all right. The sounds of your horns give us strength to fight. We'll gut the houses if you play your socks. We'll swing the hammer if you swing your axe. We'll work with haste as you play your drum. Please bring your bass and we'll have some fun. Run with the sounds as hot as the sun. Bum 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 bum, play your drum. Sun put down your gun, let's have some fun. We're doing the day, but when the nighttime comes, oh, Liza, Liza. Oh, Liza, Liza.